Hello everyone, this is Jessica from the Blinky Chicks team. In this video, I would like to demonstrate how I broadcast from the Mac. There are many different ways to broadcast from the Mac, however, I use a combination of iTunes and NiceCast. I'm going to show you NiceCast now. Screen flow. NiceCast. NiceCast. NiceCast broadcast window. Start broadcast. Uncheck. Checkbox. When you first open NiceCast, you'll be on the button that allows you to start broadcasting or to stop broadcasting. However, using Command B as a shortcut is much quicker and more efficient. State. On air off image. This is where you can see if you are on air or not. That's very important because if you're not on the air, then you're basically doing a show for no one except yourself. Level. Uncheck checkbox. 100%. Uncheck checkbox. That's your uh, volume levels. Also important. Source. Check checkbox. This is the source, and uh, it is shown down below in the drawer there, where you can choose whether to broadcast from application or all system audio or just your microphone, and then you can... If you choose application, which is what I've done, you can choose uh, the media player which you wish to use. For me, it's iTunes. Info, check, checkbox. Uncheck info, checkbox. Info, that's where you can enter stuff like your title and it will be broadcasted on the stream. They can see that on the page, depending on what kind of server you have. Titles, check, checkbox. And your setup. Titles. Uncheck titles, checkbox. That's where you can choose what kind of information people can see in their media players. So like the artist name or the album or the song title. And you can add things or remove them here. Quality, check, checkbox. Uncheck quality, checkbox. Quality, this is very important. Whenever you get your stream information, whether it be a, a server that you've... Uh, obtained on your own, or if you are broadcasting for an internet radio station, you'll need to enter certain information in this drawer here. Let's see, I'll just... Share, effects, drawer. Interact with drawer. Determines your stream's quality and CPU usage. Reset, custom, pop-up button, bit rate, 128 kbps, pop-up button, sample rate, 44.100 kilohertz, channels, stereo, CPU usage slash quality. So dim. they would give you that information with the stream, and then you would enter that into your uh, nice cast here. It depends on your uh, internet speed as well. You may not actually be able to broadcast at the highest quality available for that stream. Stop interacting with drawer. Effects button. Share. Check. Checkbox. Quality. Check. Checkbox. Share. Check. Checkbox. Effects button. Share. Check. Checkbox. Uncheck. Share. Checkbox. Effects button. Drawer. Share, this is not usually important. Effects button, share, title, info, check, source, check, checkbox, so uncheck, source, checkbox. I usually leave this um, on the source button so I can make sure quickly that I am going to be broadcasting from iTunes and not something like Safari instead and have everyone just listening to silence. And then if I press command two, Show server, nice server window. it brings up where you enter the rest of the server information. So you can give it a name, you can, uh, you have to enter the IP address, what kind of server it is, um, the password to connect. In the drawer, you have those different servers that you have uh, added into NiceCast, and you can add or remove them. They do have a server, a built-in server that you can try testing on, but it never really worked that well for me, so uh, I don't recommend it, and I think only like eight people can listen, which is pretty boring, so, yeah. Hide server, nice has broadcast window, source, check, checkbox, hide effects, show effects, nice has effects window, empty scroll area. This is the effects window, and as you can hear, voiceover said empty scroll area. That's because it's not accessible. Uh, so for me, I have to, um, I have to click this button right here. Application mixer window, select button. And that brings up my application mixer. That's how I bring in Skype. And then. Nice has effects window, empty scroll, voiceover window, audio input, selected tab, one of three. And that's how I bring in my mic voiceover. Cross auto -duck device, default pop-up button, menu check mark, built-in microphone, Samsung mic. Press Samsung mic. Samsung mic. So I change it to the correct microphone, and so whenever I come on the air, 
for the first time, usually I just bring in my microphone. So there's no extra noise. It's just me. I can, you know, welcome everyone to the show. And then I play some music. And then the next time I come back, I switch to the application mixer window. Select button. I switch to the application mixer and bring in everyone from Skype. So that's an overview of NiceCast. Now, to play my music, Finder, ScreenFlow, iTunes, iTunes, iTunes window, right? Make I use iTunes, and here is an example of a playlist. Well, it's not even an example. I was supposed to do a show yesterday, and I didn't get to do it. So this is the playlist that I created, and you can probably see interact with right one fifth the random right on air not love button action menu button. So there's a thing called for me, the random riot on air. This is a file that is nothing but silence. And this works best for me because it helps me plan out where my voice breaks will be and also makes it easier to go to the next song whenever I'm ready to start um, to go back to music from a voice break. I and nice cast. Nice cast. Nice cast. Application mixer. Window. Select button. And I am I already have voiceover. Voiceover. Right window. Here. Samsung. Go mic. Sort. Start. Start button. So to broadcast, I would press Command B, Command R. Silence is already on in the background, and then I immediately use the media keys to go to the next track. When the intro is over, I uh, press the start. Default. Button, start button. And I say what I need to say. And then I press the media keys to go to the next thing, and then I press stop to pr press the media keys to go to the next track, and then I click stop. And then I, when that set is over, I mean, iTunes, iTunes window, oops. the random right on air, not love button, nice cast, nice cast, voiceover window, start button. <laughs> I'm here in the applications window. Application mixer window, already... select Scott, crop, so application hijacker off, hijack button. I'm already sitting on the hijack button so that I can hijack the call and bring it into the broadcast whenever I want to communicate with everyone on air. So that's basically it. That's the overview of how I broadcast. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments. I also wrote a post about this on BlinkyChicks.com. You can check that out. I also included some other information about how other people broadcast, which may be helpful for you if this method uh, will not work for you. But yeah, I hope that you have found this information useful and thank you all for watching.